Welcome back to another episode of Microplays, a video series that documents smaller plays that can sometimes fall under the radar or happen off screen, but still deserve some attention. Today we're going to be breaking down some plays that occurred during the Overwatch League 2021 season, showcasing new and old talent alike. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. To start us off, we're joining the Mayhem as they attempt to recapture the Reign's control point on Nepal. As the fight rages on point, BQB rushes to rejoin the battle and tosses his translocator into a nearby hallway, setting up a safe point to return to if things go south. BQB heads in and begins applying pressure to the front line. Meanwhile, Kai, on the enemy team, decides to head into the backline of the Mayhem to pursue Slime, who was disengaged to deal with Gator's ball. Blinking in, Kai throws a pulse bomb towards Slime, but misses. However, the pulse bomb soars past Slime directly next to BQB's translocator. Unintentionally destroying BQB's means of escape, Kai indirectly cut off BQB's retreat plan. Before you know it, BQB falls low to Gator's focus fire, finds himself without a translocator, and is promptly eliminated. Enough damage to get the DMEC there onto Gargoyle. Yaki, though, he's toying with them right now. Jumping in and out of the team fight, almost looking this point over in Florida Mayhem. They could invest to try and win. Massa has been picked off here. BQB now has EMP a... as well, taken oh out. That goodness. is such a crucial kill by Kai. The next quick one is during a match between the Dragons and Excelsior on King's Row third point. NYXL are currently being zoned by Fate's Minds, so Yakpung decides to grapple onto the high ground to apply pressure onto Lip and control the space overlooking the point. Li Gon, seeing a teammate in need of help, executes the most peculiar brig rollout that ends up with him on the high ground, jumping off the payload to gain altitude, then immediately shield bashing into the doorframe. It garners enough momentum to carry him up the rest of the way up. Once up there, he whipshots Yakpung out of the door, and his team promptly focuses him down and nets an early pick. Not gonna be something that'll save Guangboon, but we'll let New York hop back over. The problem is, I think New York will go for a little bit of a reset here, Jaws. They know they have time to burn. Yeah, they have time to burn. And ideally here, you just have Kalios and Flora just build up towards that Graviton surge into the pulse. Up next, we join Fusion as they attempt to push the payload the final dozen meters to close out the map. Shy, heading down to point, hides behind the pillar whilst invisible, biding his time until the entirety of the Fusion stack on point. Wary of the enemy Sombra, Carpe plants a sonic arrow directly onto the aforementioned pillar, which manages to cause Shy's invisibility to shimmer just enough to draw Hotba's attention. Without skipping a beat, Hotba turns and immediately throws his Graviton Surge, catching Shy entirely red-handed. In response to being found out, Shy activates his EMP, but ultimately only nets Hotba. Shy is eliminated, and with a short tussle, the Fusion successfully pushed the cart forward and win the map. Transcendence for this upcoming EMP, and like you said, it's a nice ultimate economy now for the spark of the defense. They know they don't have that Transcendence to worry about. Well, the Graviton onto the Sombra drops the EMP, and I think he died mid EMP there, Jaws. Meanwhile. Moving on, we join the Eternal as they are attempting to capture the last tick on the second point of Anubis, against the Dallas Fuel. Looking at the alts, we can see that the Eternal plan to advance with a Nano Dragon Blade from Naga. Whilst the Fuel does have Rally and Bomb, they can only hope to be used as zoning alts for the oncoming push. Starting the play, the Eternals start to generally stack on the right side pathway to the point, and Naga commits by dashing in deep. However, before Khan could apply Nano Boost onto him, Doha manages to land a hack and deny the ult. Naga, realizing what happened, cannot go in and is forced to retreat. Entirely wasting Dragon Blade, the Eternal are out of pushing power. With 40-ish seconds on the clock, they must make a move. With a dry Nano onto Naga, he heads in, but it proves fruitless, as the Fuel respond with their EMP. After a short while, the one hack onto Khan turns out to cost them the map, as they are unable to regain any momentum and the fuel manage to hold. Out of boost. Right. Blade. The hack onto Khan. There it goes. They're trying to disrupt He the got timing. hacked! The blade he comes got... through. Yes, we didn't get the nano! What a fantastic play from Dallas. They knew. 
traveling to Blizzard World, Uprising have just captured Point A and Mayhem are looking to stop them in their tracks on the stairs. Looking at the ult economy on the side of the Mayhem, BQB has built a Dragon Strike but evidently lacks any Graviton Surge to send it through. Heading into the initiation, Uprising begins their move up the staircase to hopefully capture the high ground from the Mayhem. To capitalize on the funneling, BQB lets loose the Dragon whilst Uprising is pressed up against their own Batiste window. OGE, ensuring no escape, halts the entirety of the Uprising above the Dragon and drops them straight back in. Munbong, hoping to salvage his team, drops his Immortality Field which promptly gets focused down by Gangnam Jin. Instantly, all of the Uprising melt under the Dragon's damage, and the Mayhem secure the defense with a single ultimate ability. How interesting! Trying to take the high ground, okay, here's that air matrix. Dragon Strike, what a response! The hold was perfect as well, how are they gonna stay alive? They can't be QP, we're five! To end it off on something quick and cool, Onigod shows off a cool rollout to gain high ground as Tracer on Ilios. After the initial teamfight win, Onigod heads to this planter here at the base of the opposing side's terrace. Standing on the left potted plant, he lines himself up with the left frame of the window and jumps. Then he blinks thrice and climbs up the wall vertically. This quick rollout allows for easy high ground access, and can grant easy access to their backline, which is invaluable for flankers like Tracer. And that's all we have for this episode of Microplace. Which one of these plays was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. This video was made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons. A massive thank you to everybody on this list, and shout out to Jason, B, Brendan, Kubi, David, Foxy, IRYN, Lyra, Mauve, Nate, Nathan, Sierra, Shampoo, Weeaboo, Spartacus, and Yoshichi for being Platinum supporters. And an extra special shout out to Steven Noodles, Marco Muki, and Oriol for being Diamond supporters. And an extra, extra special shout out to Fool from the Art of Warfare for being our Grand Master supporter. Thank you so much, everybody. If you also want to support our channel and unlock perks, check out the Patreon link in the description below, or join our Discord server. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Nikita, and thank you for watching.